So today we've got Amy Hart and Paul Taylor Mills. Amy, the TV presenter and influencer. Paul Taylor Mills, director, producer, maestro Everything. of Cleaner, the West End. Cleaner, fundraiser, therapist, counselor. Holistic. Holistic, we'll mindful. It. Mindfulness my, manager. My, my, Everything. This is new, yes? Mm. Very so new. I'm going to go straight in. Now, people who follow you will know why you two are sort of paired up. You've been mm -hmm. working on some exciting things. Where did your relationship come from? How did it start? What was the... Um, the Bumble. spark. Yeah. Bumble. <laughs> I thought so. I thought Tinder. Bumble best friend. Um, no, so we just got introduced by a friend and just fell in love quite quickly, didn't we? Yeah, it's really funny, isn't it, when that happens? And it's uh, it's an e this sounds very it's an energy thing straight away. Yeah, isn't Love it? And that. you just know your team. Mm. And then I'd obviously knew about you and being on the show Love Island, yeah. uh, and knew that you were a massive theatre fan. Yeah, this I was is fan yes, of, the of show. course. I'm a fan of theatre. Safe, I'm a social weirdo. Yeah, but there was just a synergy, wasn't there? Yeah. You that's, just go, that's quite lovely, though, yeah. isn't it? It's lovely at this day and age. And I think the first time we actually met and laid eyes on each other was at the What's On Stage <laughs> Awards. Just before. Oh, was it? Which, which ended up being actually a COVID super spreader event, but nobody knew what yes. COVID was at the time. Yeah. Ah. Gosh, um, yeah, you were wearing a beautiful blue dress. No. Gold. Oh, gold. Oh, this well, is, this you've, I, mean, I, I, I met you at the after party. Were you wearing pajamas then? Yeah, no. I remember that bit. After so was that. It, this was post Love Island. Post Love Island, right. pre COVID. So we met briefly at the beginning of uh, like the first of March. Yeah. And oh wow. Was like, oh yeah. Apparently this whole COVID thing. And That's then where the world ended. And then, yeah, we yeah, met. Yeah. and then we got reintroduced in the September when we came to see. Um, hair at the yes. turbine on yeah. the jetty which um, you produced yeah yes i came to see out that at the palladium you did yeah. i did Brilliant. another super By spreader event yes yeah. i didn't catch um, it luckily i did um <laughs> the i i prefer the one at the palladium because it's indoors um i'm not there was I'm toilets not. when what, so when was it outdoors at the uh, turbine? on the jet high on the jet high on the jet high on the turbine of course <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> the, the Jetty. Jetty. The Jetty you is should the call posh word for the pier yeah. outside the Bath yes, Power which, Station. Yes, Pink Ultra event coming soon there. Yeah. Oh, lovely. Um, um, amazing. Yeah, and then we got reintroduced there and we just sort of fell in love and then, yeah, now we're just besties. We're family. Yeah. Uh, that's well, we love that. That's I think in London particularly, it's lovely when you have those, like how we met, yeah. instantly lovely connection. Because it is, it's quite rare in such a vibrant city, I'll we'll say. Mm -hmm. So I'll go start with Paul. Now, you're obviously a producer of many musicals, awesome ones. Uh, you've done West End, have you done America? Not yet. Not, not yet. Everything, I've done big, small, I'm not just talking about the men in my life. Yeah, I've done shows. <laughs> I, uh, yeah I have a complete range of things yeah. um, and run two theatres. Yes, of course, the Turbine and the, the other, other Palace. palace. Yes. Yeah. And so I was doing a little bit of research on you. Now you it's obviously- It's not true, whatever you heard. Yeah. It's uh, worse. I mean, it was- You read yeah, it on Twitter, it probably is Yeah, yeah, Twitter was a, uh, I ignored it Twitter. It's much worse. <laughs> but um, going back to, so obviously you're musically trained and yeah. you were, now I read, I'm gonna get this wrong. Something Fiddler was a musical. Now Fiddler on the Roof. That's you what have I meant. to say the full title. <laughs> Hence my, we'll, uh, we'll chop that a little bit. <laughs> no, keep it, I love it. So Fiddler when was roof. that? Oh God, that was you. So I, I was an actor yes, originally and then just and the work stopped coming in, <laughs> and he thought, the what else can I do? Like, and I was like, you've got to listen. When the work dries up, <laughs> you've got to listen to the universe. And I I just, you know, I just didn't like being in the room. It's, really? It's a hard life, and it's um, unpredictable. I like money. I like life. Love that too. I like being able to do what I want to do, my mm. freedom. And there's lots of brilliant things about being an actor, mm. but there's also lots of unpredictable unpredictability and it just wasn't for me amazing well yeah i mean flew dom uh, my brother we know how yeah how, i call it a bit of a roller coaster you either have everything yeah. or it is just crazy crazy yeah. difficult so how did you go from that to because it's quite a big leap to go from that to producing yeah because uh, you're still very young i uh, was 35 dear yeah um but it, it <laughs> looks like it was a big leap but actually the thing that no one talks about or the things that you don't see on social media mm is the fact that that's like 14 years of, of slog. And mm. actually, the 2% of it I'll share on Instagram, the nice mm. awards, the nice events, the lovely photos with really lovely people. 98% yeah. of it is hard work, uh, yes. in the words of Kim Kardashian. You know, it is, you've got to work and you've mm. got to hustle 
And every single day, including Christmas Day, mm. I'm working. And I don't say that as a moan, but you're always having to do stuff. You're and having you're to be here. Yeah. And yeah. I think people don't realise with you as well, like I've seen it from the other side now, mm. like everything is so complicated. Before we became friends, I didn't see things like with a casting and stuff. I didn't realise yeah, how exactly. hard it was. And you think like, oh yeah, I want to be a producer, I should cast all my friends, but you can't. And how every pound counts. Mm. Um, when you're budgeting yep. and stuff and, and there's lots of hidden costs and yeah, like with COVID and stuff, if your show shuts down mm. for two weeks because of COVID, of course. that wipes out a whole chunk of money that you cannot earn back. Mm. That's that's a really interesting point because obviously during the COVID, the COVID, the COVID. <laughs> you you had Heather's sort of ready to roll. Yeah. Did you ever have Heather's to shut it down? Heather's was the first show to tour and the first show to go back to the West End. and Simultaneously? As, yeah. And, wow. the, and it was, listen, it was how lucky I am and I work mm. with an incredible partner uh, in life, <laughs> Bill Penwright, <laughs> who is my uh, business partner, is my is a father figure to me and has been incredible to me. Mm. Uh, and he owns the other palace, and I, which I run for him. And the, you know, as Amy said, we've almost now coming back after the last two years. Had to, I've had to relearn how to mm. do the job I once did. Everything has been, all the parameters have been moved and shifted, and you are no longer just a producer. You, know, I was being jovial at the beginning and talking about being a therapist and. <laughs> But you are, you yeah. are, no, well, you're absolutely. trying, you're trying to do your best to manage so many different variables. And, you know, having had lovely, lovely success mm. and huge failure, the most important thing for me now is my happiness and actually just being mm. able to Amen. live, you yeah. know. And also I think everyone has an opinion. Everyone has and an opinion. And all your shows are quite like cult yes. shows. Yeah. So there are, there's a, a big online fan base, which is amazing. Mm. And everyone's got an opinion. You have to read all of that. I, I do. I've got much better in my old age at not reading everyone's opinion because yeah, I mean, you seem very well, yeah. happy now. With I mean, you very quick to brush over, which is quite nice. Listen, if when someone goes for your character, it's hard. Mm. But I think ultimately, are the people closest to me? Do they know Paul? Do they know who exactly. I am? What I stand that. for? What I represent? Do I go to bed at night? And this is a bit profound for a Wednesday afternoon. <laughs> but do I go to bed knowing that I absolutely did the right thing and acted honourably and with integrity and you, if the answer is no, no, <laughs> <and I don't. laughs> there we go. Uh, 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 <laughs> that, guys. Well, that's but, that's quite a good segue. No, the answer is yes. No. It, it is very is yes. much trust. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. But it's you know you you have to know that and mm. you have to trust that. And if you can't do that with yourself, then I'm probably in the wrong industry because it's brutal. Mm. It's the same as yours. Mm. Well, you that's know. what I was going to lead on to. Obviously, yeah. Amy, you you did the Love Island. The, 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 the Love, Love Island. Everything is the, the, Love, Love, the Love Island. So you've done Love Island. You came off, and after that, you are very much under the spotlight. Yeah. And how how did that come? How did it feel for you? Did you have any times where you just thought this is brutal? Because um, you you yeah. came across very well. I think. Thank you. Um, I think um, it was very unexpected, obviously, because you leave uh, the UK and you give your phone over. Where's it from? Mallorca. At Mallorca. Mallorca. And then, like, f six weeks later, we're getting in a cab to go to the airport to go home, and they're like, obviously, if you don't want to have photos with anyone, that's fine. Mm. And you're like, well, who's going to want a photo of me? And I'm like, what? Walked in, I'm, uh, like, mobbed in the airport. It was wow. mad. People shouting things at me in the airport. And I'm like, I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is. <laughs> and then I got on the plane, and my best friend was on there as crew, randomly. And she said, oh, here's my little cat Slater. <laughs> and I said, what? And she said, you're the new cat Slater. I was like, what? And she's like, I was coming back here to tell you I loved you. I was like, yes! No, 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 no. I said, I said, someone, someone just shouted at me in the airport. I was like, what is that? That's, it's and a... Was, is this, your, this was your thing. It became yeah. the thing. And I was like... It was an epic, yeah. epic, epic moment I, on the I show. I didn't remember saying it. Do you not? I didn't remember saying it. I still don't. I, I guess you were saying... I've seen the... Were you drunk? You, no. <laughs> no, you're not allowed to get drunk in there. Obviously, oh, exclusive. There, um, there are so many... You say so many things over the mm. six weeks... You don't know what they use. And obviously that night was all a blur, to be fair. But um, but yeah, like, wow. I said to her, I was like, what is that? People keep saying that. I just had someone say it to me in the airport. But because you were emotional. And I when we're know. emotional, we don't remember what we say. I don't know. And she said, babe, it's a thing. It's a meme. It's, so it's, I love it, it. There's only two memes that are really, for me, which are they're profound. They, they've shot, and it is this, your yeah. one. And then, uh, you're fucking childish yeah. by, by <laughs> Mac. That, that, for me, will always live. One Do of you the know best him? Ones. She's called him Matt. Uh, uh, yes, yeah, yeah, we've worked together. Yeah. Um, yeah. Hello, Matt. Come Hi, on Matt. the podcast soon. Is that you called him Matt? Matt? 
And yeah, we of course it's Michael, him, isn't it? We yeah. used to call him Mac in the villa. Oh, right. And we'd get told off because the viewers didn't know him as Mac. Oh, of course, yeah, yeah, so yeah. We'd get, we had to call him Michael. Is, isn't it? Yeah, um, well, that's it's, another it's story. It's Michael Anthony Christopher. Yes. Now, do you, okay, isn't that... We're like fashion designer. Nice. Yeah, well, gym wear? Maybe not. <laughs> How, do you still see the cops? Do you still um, hang like out Like at events and stuff, I'm still quite close with my girls. So oh, I'm that's lovely. Annie, you want to still speak to Molly. Amazing. Um, speak to like Joanna and Fran. And then like at events and stuff, it's like old work colleagues, like mm. old school friends. Mm. Like if you see them at events, like, it's always lovely to catch up yeah. and chat and stuff. It's nice that you've got, because I mean, <laughs> typically they do try and stir up drama. And you, yeah. you, there's a lot of shows I know people have come out of and they just don't, they, they, they just don't talk to anyone else. They resent them. So it's quite nice that you've got that. Now, Looping back to the theatre side of things, obviously we talked about mm. Paul and his productions. You were recently in, well, your first, was it a I did musical? Panto. 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 Jack and the Beanstalk? Yes. How was that? Tell Amazing. us about that. Amazing. Um, you saw it, didn't you? Oh, she was incredible. Yeah, I've, I've heard you, you were brilliant. Paul yeah. was saying your the other day. Your voice was very high. Then. But, um, <laughs> <laughs> you were really <laughs> good. Amazing. You were really, you were amazing. really good. Um, no, I, I, read, I read some of you. You did really well. you can't sing or dance, you no, tried very hard. I was genuinely um, proud Generally yeah. proud. You, That's you know, amazing. It's a terrifying thing because you have so much pressure on you mm. because you're you and everyone thinks it's like an easy ride for you and you get that because mm. of your success in on telly. Yeah. Mm. And actually you brought it and you came well, and... I, I worked really hard. So I had three months of like intense singing lessons. Three months, yeah, solid. I wow. made sure I was off book the first day of rehearsal, which I learned is really not the thing to do in Panto. Because really? Because I'd learned to all back to front and they like cut whole scenes, <laughs> oh. move pages, yeah. um, oh change no. chunks, like change paragraphs into like different paragraphs and stuff. So oh. that was quite hard. But um, I, I'm quite a deep thinker. I'm quite a like, a sensitive little person. No. And obviously, <laughs> in the industry, <laughs> people like me mm. can come under a bit of stick for um, for doing shows and stuff. And I know yeah. Panto is different, but I just wanted, I didn't want the rest of my cast to be like, oh, she's here because she was on telly. I wanted them to be like, okay, she's done her work, like she's done her prep work. Mm. You know, she's trying really hard. She's one, like I was social te- secretary, like she's a good member of the team. That's quite apparent mm. with you, particularly Amy, is because you, you have, you've, I've only met you sort of yeah. twice now, but it's quite apparent that you have this attitude of, fuck it, I'm going to do it and yeah. do it well, which is fun. Yeah. And you know, you're it's not afraid pools. to put in the time. Yeah. Exactly. I think people are not, uh, everything, maybe I'm just looking at the right things, but I think people are genuine, generally kind about you. Yeah. I, I, because yeah. you can I d- see I think, that you I, care. And I think they know, like, I think when I first came out, some people were a bit worried that I was just like, oh, I've mm. seen a few musicals. That That's an uh, avenue that not many people have gone down after Love Island. Like, I'll just like sort of cling on to that. Yeah. But it's not like, I was like a theatre, ob- I still yeah. am a theatre obsessive. Like I know yes. my stuff. Yeah, yeah. You know more than I do. Um, I, I do put the time, I do put the work in. Uh, absolutely. And, um, I make a point of knowing like what everyone does, yeah. who everyone's been. Well, it's, so since, I mean, it doesn't take much to, it, all you need to do is follow you on Instagram. Yeah. See, you're a busy girl, yes. very busy lady rather. Um, and I mean, you can still call me a girl, I'm a girl. <laughs> but not 30 for three weeks. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. I'm, uh, I'm, oh, I'm younger than you. And the, the <laughs> level of organisation for this 30th birthday gives me anxiety. Really? Have you going, yeah. You're going oh in? Oh, my gosh. Amazing. It's like a show. It, it is well, a show. would it be any other way? No. no I love absolutely. It. My best friend's Hindu is in August, and I've got a two-page Canva um, itinerary. Brilliant. Canva is I've the best for this stuff, isn't it? Canva. Yeah. So, like, it's probably, like, graphics. And it's stuff. IT. Like, it's, it's, it's not just a text on WhatsApp. I like do a day-to-day. <laughs> you know what so, I'm doing tomorrow. So, going, I mean... Amy, you've obviously been also on the side, you, well, not on the side, as a big, doing part of your work is yeah. interviewing people, you're often on telly, you've become a bit of a, well, you are a presenter now. Yeah. Now, I know that, Paul, you also dabbled in presenting with Amy mm. for a dating show. Yes, yeah, we, did. we did. I think we need to dive into that. Okay. It was super <laughs> Amy's hesitant there. Well, I think what we discovered is actually both of us had been from, a, and this maybe this is where we found a kind of unity, mm. had come from a different background but both wanted to go into that world. Oh uh, yeah, I remember and, you saying actually. But also both terrified in some ways yeah. because again we don't want it to, we don't want it to appear. You're under like, the, the, yeah. the scrutiny again. Yeah. yeah, and like it was a free ride. And so I actually there was a company, a theatre company in Chicago that I'm working with on this crazy show called Batsu, which is this interactive Japanese Batsu. dining Batsu. It's a like, uh, do you remember what's that show? Texture's Castle. Takeshi's yeah. one of the, the greatest TV shows to grace it's the world. It's that, but in a Japanese restaurant. 
and I saw it in New York. Ah. And over the so, COVID, yes, they right. um, <laughs> developed this dating show online. And we just gave it a whirl. And actually, I think that's where we knew that we had this mm. connection, chemistry, and we exactly. were able to work together. Yeah. I think that scary? was quite apparent when, when I watched because I know you were you were quite nervous on yeah. how you're going to be perceived. And I thought you you came across yeah. beautifully yeah. naturally, Amy. You were brilliant. Thank you. I think but we it, used to tap that live at the other palace. Are we do, but it, uh, you need uh, to yeah. trust the With other the person, right? Pink yeah. culture. You can find tickets on there. You know, if I dried, she'd have to interject. Yeah. Also, if I said anything inappropriate, she'd have to cover me. Well, that's me. what I noticed is because it was quite <laughs> volatile. I guess yeah. some of the well, guests. There was one situation where there was one girl. Do you remember? I think really I crushed. know what you're going to talk about. So drunk. And I thought like we were being punked and... That's the night I actually met you, Amy, because I remember me and myself yeah, and Don yes. were sat in Soho House watching it live yeah. and going... But it's great what it's going for us because we're like... Hired. You did what, we so this? well to keep that yeah, together. I was in hysterics. I didn't, you did. No, you both, I mean... Yeah. You do I am, but how you know stuff. it's great how do you deal with that and how do you try and be respectful to that person well that's the thing yeah it's... keep it together because people are watching you yeah, yeah. Um, we're also very aware that there's someone you know intoxicated on the internet whilst we're mm. and we're saying oh that's fine yeah. so there was lots going on but it was it's great kind of practice for us to it was yeah it was really a really interesting uh, show I think anything dating these days is, is hot off the, people love off it. the press mm. but that was that was really really interesting Okay, cool. I'm just wary that the laptop's gone off, so I'm going to change the recording. Uh, it's very nice. The drinks here are delicious. So is it Indian food? Yeah, oh, the food here is bloody awesome. Um, right, that's not the following day. Uh, well, what should we do? Um, any other topics we... Oh, I'm going to go to Heather's. We love Heather's. Great work. Well, my assistant casting director here. <laughs> hey. Oh, are you? Yeah. Oh, this well, seat is uncre un great. Uncredited. Best uncredited. Oh, okay. Paul, you're I... always Paul. credited in my mind. <laughs> yeah, I'm not actually credited in the programme, though. Right, oh, she's, she's going to go matters. to the poster and write it on overnight. Yeah. I think that's absolutely acceptable. I know. Paul. They're, literally, there's, there's <laughs> so many names in that programme. Is mine there? Absolutely. Do you know what it is? In, oh, I realised the other day that I'm older now, and so actually that's why Jodie Steele is still playing high school pupils in my show she is bloody brilliant she's incredible way. I mean that and woman has she, yeah. some serious talent and she's adorable and she's a good mate and she gets the job done but mm, there's a lovely story of Hannah Lowther TikTok sensation Tesco TikTok ah, sensation interesting Amy and I run did you say Tesco TikTok sensation yeah Tesco um, that's a bit she, of a tongue twister so she yeah, that is, isn't it? graduated from Conti's no she graduated from Conti's then she went to LSMT right then Covid happened, so she had to get a job in Tesco. So she started doing TikToks for her dancing in the aisles. Oh, I know exactly who you mean. That's then, how it oh, happened. Yeah. Brilliant. Yeah. And then I made friends to her, and then Paul was like, "We're on the train to Birmingham to go and see what's new, Pussycat." Ah, uh, Dominic um, Anderson, main star. And it was terrible. The <laughs> <laughs> um, only thing it missed was a mega mix at the end. Um, and also was and Delilah again? not enough for you? No. Um, <laughs> Well, we need to do it again. We, uh, we want more yeah, Delilah. Yeah. More Delilah. Delilah. If you're watching, we, we want them. more. Um, Brit Whitney. And then, <laughs> so then you said, right, we've got two hours. We need to cast Heathers. And I it's said, always close to the bone for some yeah. annoying really? reason. Well, just because... It's because it, you do so much stuff. Yeah. You are a horrendously busy. busy man. Yeah. Um, so it's what, what's, you, d you do what's the most urgent and things the make their way person. up the list. Mm. And then it's like, oh, brilliant. We, it's, it's Saturday. We start rehearsals. Like, <laughs> it, wasn't that so, it wasn't that um, soon. It was Don't um, you're going to start a Twitter um, war. <laughs> um. <But> yes, <laughs> I, said, I said, what about Hannah Lowther? And he said, who's that? And I said, she's my friend. I said, I'll get her to send the tapes in. Oh, she that's did it within so two hours. Yeah. Wow. And I have to say, you know, talking about people having an easy journey, mm. Hannah obviously has this huge online following and how Hannah's many does she have is she sort of millions, millions or? i don't yeah, i don't have she's TikTok. 84 billion no um, i think <laughs> she's years, years like, old <laughs> and she's still in heathers well that's the paul taylor yet. mills effect she's on her way to a million i think she's amazing the thing about hannah is she's also good and we would never put someone in um, yeah. and actually mm. at the time uh and i'm tell me if i'm not recounting the story properly but i didn't actually know about the tiktok no, stuff you, you actually sent her told me about her we saw the video, adored right. her, but that's also the same as Carrie Hope Fletcher. Uh, is it? Yes, and I absolutely, I adore oh. Carrie and Cherry. She's Carrie. brilliant as well. Yes, yeah, she's great. I and mean, all your cast are great. And so. it, of course that stuff helps mm. when you're doing a show that not many people have heard of, mm. you know, but they have to be able to do it. Yeah, I mean, Heather's is, is not, when you say a show no one's heard of, 
You were saying but, na- but at the time, at the t- so you time, are because I, I was going to say I just, it's huge in London now. Five years of my life. Is it's it five years yeah. now? Yeah. Wow, I mean, it's nearly five years. And it's on tour. When you and get your yacht, are you going to call it Heather? <laughs> <laughs> but <a> Veronica, <laughs> are you going to be in it? What the yacht or Heather? <laughs> never, say yacht. Never. Oh, no. never say uh, never. Never say never. Let's do this. Exclusive. Happen, Pink if Alger. you ended up being like. I'm not. I don't want to age you, but the teacher. I can't sing like that. I could. I could. You do it at the comedy though. Could you do like? Um, could I? Could you write me a role like one of the school kids? Well, oh well. Exclusive number four. <laughs> <laughs> we um, we are introducing a new character. Are I you? think the reality is very very quickly uh, and watertightly. Mm. The show was made for, to, for an eight week run at the other palace, and that's the success. The success that came after was never planned. Wow. And you can't ever plan. Who goes into a show knowing that it's going to be a hit? So therefore, the set, the costumes, the way it was made, we've, all, we've gone full circle in this beautiful, beautiful journey and it's back in the theatre that it was created. There are parameters wow. to making a show in that space. Of course. There are a certain amount of seats. There's a certain amount of space. Mm. Um, but I think we are getting to the point where we need to introduce the new character Exciting. to make the show easier on everyone. Oh. The influencer. Uh, <laughs> but it won't be a teacher. <laughs> no. Could I'm, you still be a student? I, could, I think I could still Bring be. A mature I student. <laughs> <laughs> I keep failing. <laughs> I haven't got my GED oh yet. And the school I, just keeps, Westerberg High just keeps It just repeats and repeats. Yeah. Well, look, longevity. I think I could, if I lost half a stone, I'd look young enough, I think. Um, you look young enough. You, are, so, you look so um, young, Amy. I think, I think I could be, yeah, I could be like the drama king. Mm-hmm. I, Paul, Would this is. I could, I could have a Lindsay. Well, we're, we're I, could, I, could, I could have a Lindsay Hately sun and moon waistcoat. Oh, I love that. <laughs> <laughs> and you could be like the teacher's assistant. The, um, it, you know, it's um. So you, I, I could be a teacher in training. You can just write in. <laughs> well, the, we, you know, the thing about being producer. very close to the right. We've been on this incredible journey together mm. for five years, and I have to oh, say. Oh, I met him the other night. I didn't. Mean, did I tell you this? Andy. No, not Andy Fickman. Um, Larry. Larry. They're the most Wait, incre- waiting for cars outside Regent's Park. Oh, and I yeah. said, sorry, did I ever hear you say earlier that you wrote the show um, at Legally Blonde? And he was like, oh, yeah, wow. yeah. Um, and then uh, I was like, oh, my God, I love it. And I was explaining him, like, why I love Legally Blonde. And then just before he left, my friend, Scarlett, goes, can I just say, like, I'm a huge Heathers fan. He walked up and I was like, oh, why Missed couldn't you have started with that? Mention Heathers. So then I could have been like, <laughs> oh, I, Paul's one of my best friends. Oh, she didn't mention oh, Heather's, no. but she's happy to talk about Legally Blonde. Because we're at Legally Blonde. Okay, uh, well, okay. it makes well, sense. Credit where credit's due. So this this dynamic, they, surely there's something going to be done between the two of you. Well, I feel we are it's on funny it. you should <laughs> say <laughs> that. I, uh, was I on close there? Is there something coming, the Amy and Paul? There is. We yeah. Amazing. We Holly are, and Phil are retiring. We are the Holly and <laughs> Phil <laughs> of Theatreland. Yeah. Oh, that would be amazing. <laughs> We've been we've been trying to work out for a while. Mm. Um, we love chatting, yeah. chatting shit and talking shit. and putting the world right. And <laughs> when you find, and I think we agree on ninety percent of things, but sometimes mm. there's stuff that we don't agree yeah. on, and right. we we question each other. And I think if you have a mutual respect for each other, yes, then you can have those conversations. And we came up with this. Uh, awesome. We both have a fascination. Or fetish for <laughs> flop musicals. <laughs> Don't call flop. them flops. Sorry, flop. I Sorry. call them commercially unsuccessful. Commercially, oh, because a lot right. of them are my favourite. <laughs> so, so examples would be um, from Here to Eternity, <laughs> which is Amos' favourite. Um, from Here to Eternity, Betty I've Blue done Eyes. lots of them. Carrie, have you? Yeah, yeah. Oh, brilliant. I love a flop. Oh, this uh, is all fitting together beautifully. Yeah. Well, it's just like it's fascinating to work out what it was about. The way that musical was brought into Picking the world that bit, made yeah. it went wrong, that mm. made it wasn't commercially successful. So we're, we've just been engaged by a podcast people Ooh. to do the A to Z of commercially unsuccessful. That's a musicals. long title. I think it's going to be, <laughs> isn't it called Reprise? Reprise. So it's the notion yeah. of like. And this is going back. to be YouTube presented. Yeah. yeah. Amazing. And we're, we're going to get wow. guests that were involved. I want Cameron McIntosh. That's my dream that's, guest. That we want everyone. We want Paul's everybody. Paul's the man with the contacts. Well, we're going to try our best and we're going to go through the alphabet and we're going to start with oh, American that Psycho. so exciting. Mm. And we're going wow. to get everyone that was involved in that musical at the time mm. to talk about what it was about the year, yeah. the weather. Yeah. The theatre, the cast, the writing team, that men, it just this didn't work. Good. Whose fault was it? Whose <laughs> fault? <laughs> Discuss. Who can we blame? Yeah. So you're, uh, ultimately, by the end, you'll have a pretty good idea of what makes the perfect yeah. musical. 
I don't think we know. <laughs> I, you I you never know. know. You never know. I would have it will be interesting to see what comes out of that, though, because it really is. Uh, yeah, what does make? Obviously, there's the, is it any good? But yeah. are there external factors that do, at the right time, mm. cause it to blow up or not? And like, no. with people talking about Heathers, people, it didn't work in New York. And there's lots about... It didn't? No. Really? And I That's think a big thing is that, fortunately, you know, the show does explore violence in schools, guns. Mm. Fortunately, in this country, we don't have that problem right. about guns. Yeah. In America, it's a very real, immediate Absolutely. problem. Mm. And so actually, it's not funny. It's, mm. um, it's, it's happening, you know. And so right. we have a level of kind of arms distance from it. So geography, culture is a huge part of why mm. musicals sometimes work and perhaps not. I also think as well, I think what's good about your shows is there are always affordable tickets for people. Yep. And these like young people oh, who are getting really interested in musical theatre can come back time and time and time again because your tickets are affordable. Yep. If Phantom of the Opera is your... Sorry, Uncle Cameron, love you. Please don't not come on our podcast um, if Phantom of the Opera is your favourite show they're renounced. you can't see that they're very expensive every week right? there must be some cheapies some there? cheapies but right at the top like yeah. at Heather's you can get decent seats mm. um, on you day. know on the day and stuff and like there's more flexibility so you months. are obviously the encyclopedia of right. theatre I'm the total opposite Paul has educated yeah. me greatly in the past few months what is that the one with the pink um, purple pur purple pink must be pedantic oh, um, but yeah, but I'll let me go back to what I'm saying. So, um, <laughs> also a lot of the show, right? So we start. She from hasn't even had a drink. Now. A lot of the shows as well are like sold out every night, um, right. and you have to buy including your tickets, Heathers. including <laughs> Heather's. But you have to buy your tickets months and months and months in advance. Whereas Heather's, you do the options of your day seats. Yep. You can queue up on the day for your day seats. Like they, you leave the front row yep. free, mm. so you can. So it does make it more accessible, and it mm. does make it so that these like young kids can like fall in love with this show mm. and really and they make friends in the queue oh, and they make community. They, it, I mean community. the Heather's community is, is vibrant it's really interesting it's, to it's, see that people yeah. yeah they connect it's I mean yeah, the only reference I can bring into that is that there's some DJs called Above and Beyond and they are they're sort of 40, 50 year olds and they sold out Madison Square Garden they yeah. sell out everything they do Wow. every single event they go to there you can go on your own. You will meet. Yeah. You will just mingle yeah. with the crowd. People are so it's the such same a with lovely Jane community. <laughs> um, all her fans go to all the shows. So when you go, you meet all the same people. I love Jane McDonald. Can we go and see her, please? I love. I her. love I've it. been to her gigs before. You know, my dream gigs. is to do. I've been to her concerts <laughs> before. Gigs. In the mosh pit. I um. Dance someone asked me what my dream dizzy. was before I like retire, and it's to do Hello Dolly. With Jane, Jane McDonald. McDonald. Love that. Hello. It's a hit. Dolly. It's got a hit written all over it. Nothing Whitney based. Well, no. <laughs> Although, right. so I just found out someone was doing a play about Whitney Houston in New York about Starting Whitney's, <laughs> not with Jane McDonald. <laughs> 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 um, we're about Whitney's relationship with her therapist. Oh, lovely. Yeah. Are, you, are you in line to play the therapist? <laughs> the king of yeah. mind. <laughs> no one needs my Mindfulness therapist. is key. Um, but that's yeah, interesting on the I point. I think Jane McDonald and I could be Minnie Fay. Mm. There we go. And you could have Denise no, Welsh as one. ribbons down my back. <laughs> that's you not the character's name. The character is Mrs. Malloy. That's it. Um, you know I was Barnaby I know in a production at Theatre or Bath. I love Hello Dolly. Oh, I saw beautiful. it. I saw Donna Murphy on Broadway. I just there's oh, wow. something about those songs. It's in Wally. -E. You know the one in Wally, -E, the film. Uh, as in Wally -E, Clothes. Wally -E, -E, the, the robot. Film. Yeah. Oh, yeah, wow. the robot. Wally. -E. In um, in the gift shop in Magic Kingdom, they just have put on your Sunday clothes on loop. Ah, oh, Sunday <laughs> clothes. That song <laughs> happens, yeah. and you just get chills. I cried when the train came out on Broadway. It's beautiful. Are you were, you were just uh, in? I saw Disney. a load of photos yeah. in Disney. Ah, oh, how was that? I just love it. I, I mean, wait. I don't I'm know anyone. I'm my boyfriend in January. I can't wait. Oh, Does it wow. not mean? No. Wow. And I want us to go before we have kids. That we well, can this, do this is a fantastic and, segue. Um, eat, like, and do drinking around the world at Epcot and stuff. You've got to do the eating, dining in the actual Magic Kingdom. Yeah. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. Well, that leads me into a fantastic segment. You were unlucky in love in the villa. Yeah. But how things have changed. Yes. Tell me about the, so the lovely, hubby. So lovely, lovely Sam. He is adorable. It he's makes me sick. <laughs> he is Absolutely. So That's the best kind, yeah. isn't it? He's a proper house husband. I'm very lucky. He texted me earlier on saying, just had the windows cleaned, 15 pounds, like oh, once a month. Oh, like, that's husband you. material. Um, Does that make you sick, Paul? He started gardening. <laughs> he's done all our garden. <laughs> Tell him um, what he said to you this morning. Oh, this morning we were cuddling and he said to me, how weird is it? There's millions of people in the world and we chose each other. 
It just makes it, your heart burst. It is lovely. And, and sick. also, it makes me sick, so yeah. I want that. It's amazing, though, because <laughs> she deserves it. He yes, is, absolutely. He's the best person ever. And, yeah, hopefully together for many, many, many years to come. Love that. And it's so nice to see that. It's, mm-hmm. it's lovely. I mean, lovely. from Love Island to... Pretty, love. Pretty awesome. Yeah, there we go. Well... Fast I think forward we'll, to me uh, sliding into everyone's DMs yeah. on Instagram. That's the way to do it. <laughs> Help! <laughs> well, surely you, you do very well, Paul. Did you you're, know what? It's you're a, a catch. I, honestly, that's very kind of you, but I think you you also have to be in the right place ready for it. Would you say looking back at when you were mm. in the villa, you were ready? Um, that's a fantastic there, question. Saying, I was saying earlier on about how I was love blocking. I was making sure I was busy at mm. all times. And then um, Francesca Amber, who does the podcast Law of Attraction Changed My Life, said mm. to me, you're love blocking. There's no room for the universe to send someone into your mm. life. So I started saying no to things. I started like, you know, pre-COVID, we'd be at events every night of the week. Um, and mm. I, so I started doing this thing where I looked at the event and I said, like, who benefits from me going to this event? And if it wasn't me, then I, I had go. to I had to be selfish and not go. If it was me or my friends, then I would go. Yeah. If it's someone oh, I didn't like know. that. But it's still interesting that you say you, you had to be selfish. It's not at all selfish. No, it's, 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 it's yeah. like, you know, like, who, okay, so I'm going to go to this event and I'm going to pay for my train from home up to London. It's going to take me two hours to get there. It's going to take me two hours to get mm. home. Um, who, so that's your fault. Who's going to benefit? Like, yeah, I'll get my free drinks and stuff and I'll get, you know, I might get paps and that's good, mm. like, you know, uh, the photography boards, whatever. PR. But who's mainly going to benefit? The brand are going to mm. benefit. Like, have I worked with this brand? Am I going to work with this brand? You know, because yeah. there's, there's certain brands yeah, who, I won't yeah. mention, but they, nev- they never ask me to work with them. But as soon as they want something for free, I'm the first person on their list. Tesco, Lidl, <laughs> Aldi. Um, That's really interesting. So, so, we, so I now say no, and I, I used to feel bad because a lot of it was like charity stuff, but now I'm like, yeah. no, actually, like you're making money off this charity stuff. Your, your brand is making money off the charity stuff, even if you donate all the proceeds. So they should um, have maybe. to look after yourself as well. Yeah. And I think mm. I obviously have it on a much lower scale than you do, but I, I, I put something on my socials just that I, might, I don't look at my DMs and I can't. Mm. A, because I don't really want to read them. I don't know if you want to dive into no, them. I don't. Instagram, the filthy place. You get so much that actually, uh, you know, if it's whether it's a charity event or this or an opening night, or this, and actually it would be a full-time job just to sit there and go through stuff. And it's not that you're grand, it's not that you're obno- yeah. obnoxious, it's just that, like, mm. I, ca- I can't do that because yeah. I have to look after me. Uh, exactly, and I think it's, that's so important. It's like, so I've got this plan. So I have a cleaner. Okay, cool. I have a cleaner on a Tuesday, right? right? But obviously they clean, they don't tidy. So I have to tidy the house <laughs> God, before That's they such a mum quote. That is a mum right? quote, isn't it? clean, they don't tidy. So I have a goal. And if my bank balance is a certain amount on the 31st of December this year, I'm going to pay someone to come in on a Monday and put my washing away and do some more washing, do some ironing and tidy List. my house before the cleaners come <laughs> on Tuesday. My boyfriend says I'm lazy, right? But <laughs> someone at Louise Pentland, YouTube creator, said to me, but if you're going to pay someone, even if you pay someone 20 quid an hour, how much money can you make in that 20 pound an hour Ooh, if that's you haven't very got to do point. your washing, yeah. you haven't got put away, that you is haven't a got very, to tidy very up. Interesting point. And Sam said, yeah, but you've actually got to do that with the hour. You can't just lay in bed <laughs> scrolling through TikTok. You're one of and the that's, that's, that's the problem. This is true. You are so productive. I am and I'm not. I get on things and then other times I am just like, Are you oh, very much, when, you're, when you've got something which you're passionate about, tunnel vision? Yes. Straight. Because yes. I found exactly that. One of the things, it's a, a weird example, but there's all these companies that do meal preps and they basically send healthy meals yep. to your house. Now, they're ridiculously expensive, yep. but building pin culture, I've had no time to do anything. And those make a hell of a difference. Yeah. Because I, you get time yeah. to, it's not interrupted with cooking, cleaning. If I was going to do panto this year, hypothetically, hypothetically, um, my when? plan <laughs> is uh, my plan is to do to get meal preps because mm. last year, Highly so so the delivery where just I hope live, there's a microwave at Drury Lane. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> at the is there a Sorry, microwave at, at the Palladium? Frozen's um, not going anywhere. Uh, no, um, <laughs> so so basically, my delivery where I live isn't great, right? There's right. very limited options. When I went down to Portsmouth <laughs> and went on delivery, obviously there's Gunmore Caves down there. It was like a whole new world. Oh, so I had a different takeaway every day. Oh. Sometimes twice, sometimes thrice. Oh, right? thrice. <laughs> so by three weeks in, I was so fatigued, um, I couldn't be- I couldn't do anything. Nando's. She needs but to live on Nando's. Nando's, no, so then, the healthy so one. So this, this year, so last year was 50... Oh, no. 
Not this year. <laughs> Hypothetically, if I was going to do panto this year, I would have to <laughs> eat properly because it's more shows. Yeah. Well, I'm sure so after this, someone's going to reach out one yeah. of the meal companies. Oh, uh, they and, are a good. and a panto company. If you're anywhere near the Palladium. <laughs> 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 yeah. Five anywhere guys. Near the Five Turbine Theatre. <laughs> uh, <laughs> There's lots of options there. You're more than welcome. I mean, yeah. It's I know, the I've place. Ordered, I've, I've ordered them many times. <laughs> <laughs> Nando's would be the ideal one. I love I've, Nando's I've so had many Nando's, Nando's with you. I've tried to get a black card so many times. I'm trying my to agent lied you. to me and told me they weren't giving them out anymore. And then she had Are they still? Oh. They are, but secretly. And she had this very young BAFTA winner. And he got one. I mean, darling. But you've produced. I know. You've got one Beth Olivia and you've lost it. That's no, I've got the Olivia back, but I would just love a black card. I think That's you need to be more active on the Instagram, See, I'm, mate. I'm trying to Nando's, get if you're yeah. watching, I would love a black card. That, what do you I'm, mean I'm, if they're watching? I'm trying they're watching. To Nando's, please give me a black card. I'm trying to get a Toby Carberry red card. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that, are you, you're a Toby Carberry fan. <laughs> I'm a Toby Carberry gal. I love a roast. It really is the home of the roast. You're a Soho house. We've got a Toby Carberry. The difference you is... Know, I was at Glastonbury last week and they had a roast dinner wrapped inside a Yorkshire pudding. Ooh. So oh, filthy. Oh, Yorkshire, yeah. Yorkshire burrito or something, oh, isn't it? Yeah. It's so slow. It I loved it. It is naughty, isn't it? I love about Toby Carberry is, at Soho House, yes, it's a nice roast, but it's the best. if you're busy on a Sunday, you've missed your chance for that week. Toby Carberry is all the Toby time. Toby Carberry. Don't be uh, shady about Soho House. Yeah. I'll take my membership no, off. Honestly, um, this so is... Then, <laughs> basically, I... If I... If I can't have a roast on a Sunday, I have to have one on a Monday or a Tuesday. So where do we go? Week. That's the home of the commitment. roast, Toby Carberry. It's Surely Toby Carberry would give you a card. Surely by um, now, yeah. yeah. Hopefully, I'm going to message them. I've, I've worked with them. We'll, uh, we'll tag them in this. Yeah. And, um, I think you have to be called Toby because Toby Anstis got one. <laughs> That's a brilliant marketing. <laughs> <laughs> Love that. Very well played. What if I change my name by deed I've got a Amy card. Toby Hart. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a pool card. I get macaroons. Yeah. That, that's very you. <laughs> I love a macaroon. That is very you, isn't it? Right, I'm going to, uh, we're going to move on to the next segment. So we asked our audience to ask you some questions. Okay. So we, it's the question round. So Let's do this. We have some questions now. They're mixed um, and you don't have to answer them. I advise you to. And then we're going to move on to the quick, for ping quick fire round. Okay. Which is to get to know you guys a little bit better. So uh, first one, which is uh, very ping related. So thank you to whoever's handed in. Best place you have ever travelled to and why? Um, I love Vegas. But Vegas, I, also love New- I love New York and Vegas. They're my faves. Why? Just, I, it's amazing. They are. I, so, I, I just love the smell of America. The when smell. you get off the pack, like, <laughs> the whether sweat, it's, whether, mm, no, the no, no, money. No, whether it's like <laughs> Orlando, Vegas, New York, like when I get off the plane in America, I'm like, I'm home. I'm home. I just oh. love it. The thing I don't like about Vegas is every step you take, you lose fifty dollars. Every move you make. I've heard this. Yes, it's literally like. Same you with shake New York, money. though. Yeah. yeah. Paul, I love New. I love New York. I do know what you mean about the smell. It's like roasted nuts and Subway. Oh, uh, Subway. Not, not the sandwich place, like proper yeah. Subway. And but then I also love Mexico. I love Tulum. Tulum yeah, looks I've amazing. I've been lucky I enough to spend Christmases there, and it's just very the right side of hippie it's very free and very lovely it's meant to be it's incredible I've heard. Yeah, what about Mykonos Mykonos I, I do you love yeah. it's spenny oh, that's very yes. spenny. So expensive it's now. Uh, more have you been to Ibiza have you um, yeah I have. how does it compare spending wise to Ibiza oh, more is my friend said it, more it, it, my friend said it was 60 euros to get a sun lounger on the beach no bloody hell I know if I'm hungover I do do those silly things as yes, well yes I'm the same which it's is just a bit a, silly I bought a steak I've, I've heard about this steak a wagyu steak where they started cooking it at the table when I was hungover. Is this the it one with Dom? 600 yes, euros. Yes, I've heard. For a steak, and I was hungover. Mm, was and Wagyu. A, a Wagyu. I had a dream about Wagyu steak last night. Did you? Very <laughs> nice. it was I want a flat iron now. Oh, I love it. Oh, flat iron, flat iron is bloody time. brilliant. Yeah. Time. Uh, next one, it was for Paul. What's next for Paul Taylor Mills after Heather's? What is next? We're about to open a musical called Millennials, which I'm really excited oh, about. Oh, yes. Uh, it's in our studio with the Hannah Lowther. Tesco TikTok sensation. Brilliant. Um, and this is, um, it's really exciting because it's what we want to be doing with the other palace, which is whilst Heather's is hugely successful and mm. will go on and on, which is so brilliant for the venue, yeah. we also want to make sure that we are nurturing the audience of, of tomorrow. And I know that sounds very profound, but it's, you know, the thing that wakes me up in the morning and the thing that enables me to deal Keeps with... producing these amazing yeah, things. It's yeah, it's You have Absolutely. to be excited about the shows and mm. you have to know that you are absolutely the right person to produce it and the only person to produce it. Love and it. millennials, I do feel that 
I have to be the person that does it. No one else can go near it. It has to be mine. Love it. And we open next Friday um, with an incredible six-piece cast. Wow. Downstairs Where? in the studio at the Other Palace. At the Other Palace. Amazing. I've actually been to that studio recently. Yeah, we've transformed it. That it really? It will look unrecognisable. Wow. I, s- I said to the designer, I want people to walk I'm in gonna and go, to what that? on earth is going on? It's wow. incredible. Okay, so I'll be there. Be there. Excellent, or excellent, be excellent. Excellent. Um, the next one we kind of covered... Someone asked, will you both be working together anytime soon? Yes, on our podcast. On our podcast. Exciting. Do you have a link? Um, or It's not produced yet. Is it? Non-commercial musical theatre flops. <laughs> the Paul Taylor Mills title. Reprise. Flop, reprise. reprise. <laughs> it's really exciting though. We we had a, um, a meeting with the uh, yeah. company who are going to produce it and promote it. Wow. And we they're wait, waiting on us. Yeah. We just need just to get together in the same time. room. Which, both being very busy, is quite mm-hmm. difficult to take it. Ah, okay, next one is for Amy. It was, what's the most bizarre thing you experienced on Love Island? Um, bizarre being the word there, which is quite yeah. interesting. Bizarre, like when the helicopters go over, like from the what newspapers. Oh, do they? Just to see who's been evicted the night before. Oh. And they're like, get in the house, get in the house. Really? To run in. Oh, yeah. So they'd zoom in and then work out my yeah. process of elimination. Oh, why, ru- why ruin there. it? Yeah. Like, oh. Wow. Wow. Because you're a day behind what's... Yeah. Mm. Wow. I mean, that's uh, surely that's that's like Big Brother. They used it. to do that on Big Brother. Yeah, do you they used they to send the, they used to send the sky right across. People used to break in they? as well. Yeah, the God. airplanes with the. Uh, yeah. What people don't know is there's a lot of downtime, isn't there? Mm. I can't really talk about much of it. Oh, okay. Because you know, you have to pledge allegiance. It's, yeah, you've got the contract. So what? Are you still under contract? No, it's like a yeah. What, when does what do they feed you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, the only gossip can I can find out about the show I was research. I did my research. Um, obviously, on Amy, it was. You talking about the how they they sort of let you go to loo, but they're like, right, one at a time, and very very one specific. Time, yeah. Which, yeah, I mean, it was well, the only thing you are I going find. to the loo one at a time. Well, I guess yeah, if you want to have private um, chats. Because there's uh, there's not a camera in the toilet; it's just a security camera. Mm. Uh, it's only used if something happens. Girls do go to the loo together. I'm not yeah. being yes, and, um, well, gender no, stereotyping. No, no, but but if, if you're going out for dinner, you go to the loo together. If you live in a house together, mm. me and my mum don't go to the toilet together. Do you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> if you live with someone, you don't go to the toilet together. It's a together. very good point. Next one. Uh, funniest person you've ever been mistaken for. Now, I, I remember you told me one or two. I can't remember them off the top of my head. I really sam smith once and sam smith yeah i mean sam's got a great voice mm. yeah um <laughs> really random people but, and i also have this weird thing is that i'm really a nobody so like but people oh. know me so like people know that they know me but don't know why they know me so it's always very <laughs> eggy right uh, well, amy hart's mystery man amy once, hart's mystery once, man. I remember once this. we got packed together and it said like do you know this man Call the Daily Mail news desk. My mum actually got 200 quid out of yeah. that. <laughs> and I think you got papped. When I first met you guys, you were papped outside. Yeah. They love her. This is just they after. love her. They really wanted you two to get together. Yeah. They did. They did. But in a classic only Paul way, I was I was carrying Imodium, Imodium. wasn't I? Yes. Because <laughs> yes, that's such a Paul on brand. Excellent. Thing to do. It was uh, um, and then Yeah, really random people. And it's always like, I know you, but I don't know how I know you. Paul, someone called me Paul Taylor Smith. Paul Taylor, Taylor Swift. Paul Taylor Swift. I love that. I quite That's like quite that. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll take that. that. Yeah. Have you ever nice been one. mistaken? Um, yeah, what's surely? Uh, I won't say who, but like an actress in the West End. Well, I, I, love I love her. I love her. She. I was talking to her for a whole day, and at the end, she said to me, "Are you going back into nine to five then?" <laughs> And I said, oh, no, that, that's not me. That's Amber. And she said, no, no, are you sure? Are you sure? I said, like, no, no, it's definitely not me. It's definitely Amber. She's like, are you sure it's not you? I was like, I wish it was oh me. God. I wish I had that amazing voice. But it is, that's Amber. And she was like, oh, okay, cool. <laughs> and, and a lot of people um, do think sometimes that I... Um, because they just hear like, because I'm like, oh, I love musicals, and I was on Love Island. They're like, oh, were you in 95? I'm like, no, no, again, that's they not me. I same. wish I could sing like her, but I can't. There's oh. a very famous actress that won't be named that... As you know, as call me Graham mm-hmm. forever and presented me with an award at the Watson Stage Show once. And you know, when it, it's gone oh. past the point of like being able to say it's Paul, so even when I went up, she's like, oh, done, Graham. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, Graham. <laughs> Graham. I've been called Olivia. I mean, most awards I've accepted really? at school. That's the only I love time I've got them. I love it. Was it was just Olivia. That, and of course, you just get ambushed by your friends for the rest of the oh, year. I just let it happen. So that it's was fun. Is your name spelled Olivier then? No, no. Yeah, there's, it's, it's, it's the most Oliver. Oliver spelling you can get. Um, <laughs> it's Oliver. It's, like it's, it's Oliver. Oliver. I mean, the musical's based on me. Yeah. It's <laughs> and it's okay to ask for more. It is. It is. <laughs> it, ask for more, guys. 
Uh, next one. This is a good one. What musical character does your life best represent? Oh, you go first. I think I'm very much like Mrs. Wormwood. No. Um, <laughs> Tilda. No, <laughs> no I, I am... I think I'm a bit of Amber Von Tussle. <laughs> all villains, all, all villains. Really? No, 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 no I don't no, think no, so. No, you're no. Penny, you're very I'm Penny. I'm Penny, okay, I'm like Penny. Yeah. Penny being... Penny I'm Pingleton not. from Hairspray. Uh, oh, that's a nice one. I, and Paul, I want this to one, I'm, I'm like, excited for your answer. Do you know what? My favourite musical of all time... I don't know who you are. <laughs> how to succeed in business without really trying. <laughs> <laughs> the what? The, uh, the no, 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 just that. <laughs> <laughs> That's the title of my autobiography. Yeah. That would be an How amazing... How to succeed in am, musicals without am, really trying. I am very lucky. <laughs> Ladies Lots and gentlemen, welcome to the press night of the Heather's 20th anniversary <laughs> tour. <laughs> Things, but oh. I also think this is a nice way to wrap it up. Like you, mm. you, what you put out there will come back to you. So I couldn't agree more. I am lucky. Agree more. I'm very, very lucky. And things have happened in my life, which I'm so grateful for. But at the same time, you, I'm not necessarily religious, but I do believe what you do and the way you behave and the energy you put out mm. there will somehow work out a way of coming back to you. Well, that's very apparent since I've been friends with you. That's that's exactly how I see you. You do look after those closest to you, and hopefully that comes back. This moment yeah. on. <laughs> no, <laughs> but, I, but I, 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 have a go, I have a go at him though because I think you are so generous, and I think people take the piss. I agree. I, I notice that sometimes. Yep. It's it's annoying. And I'm like, Paul, why are you doing this? Mm. And when you had your birthday party and you put, I won't say how much, but you put a ridiculous amount of money behind the bar. I'm like, why are you doing this? Well, people will come to my birthday party. They would have come, your real without friends that. would have come without exactly. the free bar. Well, maybe. Mm. I, do you know what? I work really hard. You enjoy it. You enjoy it. I enjoy looking after people. And I think, do you know what? Like, I, I, I won't say who I was having this conversation with, but I was talking to someone very close in my life who told me I was terrible no. With money, and I agree, I am no, right. absolutely with appalling. Money. But I also think, like, I <coughs> came from a very humble, normal life, home. Mm. I don't have this... You know, some people, yeah. I'm not stereotyping heterosexual people, but I am. Uh, but there is a yeah. sense of having to leave something and a legacy. Uh. I, I don't want to get any flack for this, but... I don't have that at all. What about when I have That's children and you're their godfather? I will, uh, I will make sure there is a pot left for them <laughs> underneath the bread bin. All right? They get the rights to Heather's. Exactly. <laughs> for the 50th <laughs> but I, I, d I really don't have that sense of like That's needing to... That's quite free, though, no? Mm. Yeah. I think Which is why lovely. I just do me and I, you know, I'm very lucky that I have uh, the life that I do and I don't take a second mm. of it for granted. But I don't have that thing of like needing to like save Oh, I this. think that's that's actually wonderfully freeing. That's something I think a lot of people, entrepreneurs, aspire for that that freedom. Mm. That's that's what people are striving. So that's that's amazing that you feel you have that. Yeah, I should Love probably it. rein that in though. <laughs> like I say, see, it's not about, and I get that. Like the people that are there for you all the time and stuff. I just think a lot of the time that are randoms who, are, who have heard that there's a free bar wherever we're going yeah. and they should appear. Mm. And they're they like, oh yeah, champagne, champagne, champagne. But I also think something I've noticed with you, Paul, is you're very good at identifying those people. I like when to we're think there. so. I think you're very good at it. My mum always said, she's like, because my mum is such an advocate and supporter of me, she's like, Paul, you're not very good at many things, <laughs> but your, your instinct on people mm. is normally quite I good. I would 100% I mean, listen, agree with that. Like all of us, Absolutely. I've got it wrong many times, but I like to think actually, it, you know, the world, it all comes out in the wash and the world mm. will work its way out. Absolutely. Eventually. Love that. Well, that's, uh, that's a fantastic way to finish the, uh, the question round. I'm going to finish it there. Thank you so much for coming on, guys. Thank uh, you for I having I hope us. you enjoyed that. That was really amazing.